Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So glad to be playing this for you guys. Again, thank you to Ubisoft for allowing me to play this for you guys. What do you think of the game so far? Chime in in the comments below. And we're going to go ahead and begin. I'm actually getting a chance to play this in HDR now. And wow, it is absolutely beautiful. Let us begin. We got a funny mission up ahead that we're going to be doing here. So even though I'm playing this in HDR, you guys are only seeing it in regular SDR. That is because of my new Avermedia 4K capture card that I just got and put in my computer today. So um, make sure you check out the channel. I'll have some HDR gameplay coming soon for different games and all that for those of you that have a screen that can actually play it. So that being said, here we go. You'll love this mission. Well, I'm you a sight to my age dies. Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. All things get better with age, don't they? Even you. The Oracle said that if I'm to live a long and happy life, I need to stay young at heart. But I mustn't lose focus. I need your help more than your magnificent body. I'm glad to hear it. Corrigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients, if you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry. I'll reward you well. I'm sure Goragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. Alright. Age is just a number. We know exactly where we need to go, but I'll show you guys where we need to go on the map here. So you just need to go... There's a zoom in here. About right in here. Along this road, and you should be able to find everything that your heart desires. And you'll see that, you know, it's not that long from here, but the problem is you gotta go directly over a mountain. You'll notice another mission here. We're gonna go ahead and accept this as well. Well, no, we gotta be back. We'll wait. Because we gotta come back anyways. Might as well just go ahead and wait. Let's go. Now I show you having a horse here is fruitless. Now we could probably go along this side too. I'm sure it probably wouldn't actually take that long. But another way you can go is obviously up. Come on. But you'll see, it's like, no matter what you do... Ooh, there's a little cave here. Ella. The up. Cave of Kratos? Okay, I've definitely got to enter this thing.
That's cool. I always like that. Oh, you were right there, bro. There you go. This is great. Like I can see everything so clear because it's a lot brighter on my screen where it's a lot darker on yours. So I actually for the first time don't need a torch right here. He's only a level 10, but he is the main guy. So my guess is, yeah, exactly. It's usually when it's the king or when it's the main guy, it's not going to let you. But all we got to do is literally this will be really easy to take him out. Oh, that didn't even give him any damage. We should have done it right here. Wait till he gets back up. Whoa, what happened? I can't. Oh, I need adrenaline. I got no adrenaline right now, so. The kick knocked him out. Oh. Did he literally turn into the... I feel like they just switched places. I swear, I think they just switched places. Alright, come on down. Oh, he still has more. Got him. I could have swore that it actually made the clan chief change. I don't know if that was just me or not. Oh, it's so great when you can kill people like that. Thank God. Oh, how did he not die? Yeah, why don't you come back up and repeat the same process again, everybody? All right. Don't you love it when you just get sidetracked enough to like do all kinds of other things when you're actually going out to do something else? Like to you, this probably looks pretty dark, but to me, I see everything so freaking crystal clear right now. Wow. Can't believe how much of a game changer 4K is.
All right, so here we are. We got a few different directions that we can go in. Okay, it looks like just another way out. So before we head out, let's head back the other direction and see if we can find what we're looking for. Here it is. I just want to look up here real quick. Alright, I think we're safe to go ahead and exit out now. So beautiful, guys. All right. All my life, I've heard stories of Leonidas. I can't believe I'm finally seeing where history was made. All right, so where we are in the map, we still have a little bit of ways to go. So we need to turn back a little bit, it looks like. Because it's going to be in this north side, exactly pretty much right where I put that on the mountain there. And another way that you can find out exactly where you need to go is right here. You can look around. So beautiful, right? So actually, we need to go a little bit further. So if we're actually down in here, I think... We came all the way up. And then we go along this road here. We should be able to find both bear and deer. There's a bear. So we'll start making our way down. Hmm. 
and as you may have guessed it, getting back is also a challenge. But on the way back, we're gonna go ahead and grab something specific, which is another viewpoint. And again, you can fight in the conquest battle if you want to. Completely up to you. Yeah, I'm not worried about him. We're gonna go ahead and tackle this bear here. And there's deer right in the same area. Find, uh, let's find the deer. There we go. What kind of elixir uses ingredients like these? All right, so let's look at the faction. Who is winning right now? So we need to go over to the map, and you can see that the Spartan leadership is in this specific area right here. There, it's Athenian leadership, but Spartan leadership over here. And they're not doing very well. They're pretty vulnerable. The invading army has a lot better chances, so you can choose the side that you want to do. We're actually going to go ahead and do this. Why not? We may not win. I don't know, but we're going to find out. Mistios, we're having trouble finding fresh blood to defend against those slimy Athenians. Well, fresh blood that knows which end of a sword to hold. I've made it this far, haven't I? That's the spirit. What do you say? Interested in raising a shield for Sparta today? I'll join you. Good. We're glad to have your sword. And I love how you can just mix missions up. Guys are way above our level. And he killed me with one shot. I was trying to get somewhere else. So as you can clearly see, this area that we're currently in is above the area that we're at right now. So even if it says normal, do not always pay attention to the level of the area that you're in if you look at the map each area will tell you what, what is uses ingredients what like is a these? good level so if we were to bring up the map you'll see that this area if we back out says you w it wants you to be anywhere between 12 and 14. so right now us tackling this is not a smart idea so that's why we're going to go ahead and head back now 
But again, I like to show you guys these things because it just yeah. means that you'll be able to understand a little bit better. And there's nothing wrong with understanding a little better. Come on. Alright, so let me show you another little move. Set your mission. Hold down the A button and hit Y. What this is going to do is this is going to tell us exactly where we need to go and the route around to actually get there. And of course, if you want to, you can deviate as far away from here as you want and you can look around. You can see that it's he's following the road all the way over there. But it looks like you might actually have to stay close to him. Let's see, if we started backing away a little bit, let's see if he still continues to go. Nope, he'll stop. Okay. So yes, you have to keep your eagle close to him or else he will not continue to follow. And that happens sometimes when you get animals. You can see that there is a wolf attacking me. That's the only thing that I'd say that I'm not a big fan of is that sometimes it can take you away from you just traveling along your path because of random animals that, that want to harm you. This guy, he is not wanting to go after us. That's why he's grayed out or white. So there's no reason you don't have to face off against him. Like how I just ran into that thing. Actually going to take a little bit of a shortcut because there is a viewpoint over here that I want to grab. Yeah. There it is. Could be one up here too. Let's see what this one is as well. abandoned camp but we'll just go ahead and stick to the viewpoint always want to grab these viewpoints because you know we're going to be coming back here throughout our t adventure and we want to make sure that we have everything unlocked for us ah uh, turn around see it can be a little hard navigating But we made it. You can also see that we are back in the lands of where the Athenas are leading. Clearly we're not going to jump down there. We still have a long way to trek all the way back over here to turn in that uh, side mission. We have to do a lot of backtracking, a lot of getting to places first, and then once you get those viewpoints, then you no longer have to do that if you're smart enough. That is when you can take advantage of the game and then use its fast travel points. You can see, even on horseback, it doesn't take you long. Get ready for some fun. Mistyos, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this Afxesia? This is the Mistyos who's going to reignite our spark, my love. Oh no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. 
Nonsense! I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me! I cannot do this anymore! Your husband is tired. Allow me to satisfy your hunger. I've never been with a mercenary before. Very well. Let's see what you're made of. It's okay. He doesn't mind. He's actually pretty happy. Did she... have fun? That should hold her for a few days, at least. Thank you, Mistyus. Here, take this as payment. You've more than earned it. And there you go, ladies and gents. We picked up the Nymph's Blade. That's, I just find that so hilarious. And we have made it to level 11. Awesome. Two birds with one stone, right? Malaka! <laughs> If it isn't the eagle bearer himself. You got big since Kefalonia. And you got old, Fotios, the dog's breath. Last I saw you, I think I lit your ship on fire. <laughs> my ship and my beard. These days, thankfully, I've semi-retired. <laughs> Do people pay mercenaries here more than they did in Kefalonia? <laughs> of course they do. Better than Marcos, that's for sure. Everyone pays more than Marcos. You're lucky I took all his crazy contracts. <laughs> I was a false learner. He's a rotten cheat. I only accept the easy stuff now. I'm working as a watchman this very moment. The cushy job. Most days. I could use a break myself. <sighs> Some break this is. Today feels just like old times. The job got harder than anticipated. Did something happen? <sighs> A couple of priests ransacked this treasury. They took the Zaphires offered by a Thracian king. The bastards. <laughs> Your employer won't like that. No, but you like this. Make an example of the thieves. You find them and the Zaphires, and I'll pay you much better than you're used to in Kefalonia. All right, I'll help you, but... But what? I haven't forgotten the old days. I owe you one, Fotios. No reward necessary. <laughs> ha! I thought I was getting soft. So, I'm hunting priests. Where do I start? Mm, priests aren't used to thief business. They probably hid somewhere quiet. Check the caves west of here. I wouldn't expect priests to be jewel thieves. They didn't take the drachmi or the silver. They knew those sapphires were the most valuable things here. That's priest knowledge. Shouldn't be long before I find them. It's a pretty simple mission, guys. Nothing too difficult to worry about. We're gonna have to enter the cave. We have a bunch of priests to take out. Of course, some of the priests you're not gonna be able to take out immediately. So go for the ones that you can take out first. The ones that you can do with your blade. They're not blade. You actually don't have a blade in this game. It's just the assassinations. It's just you using your sword and assassinating them. So you don't have like a hidden blade or anything. This must be the cave Fotios mentioned. Those priests came this way.
All right, so he's coming up now. So that's we gotta be, you gotta be on the lookout, guys. Oops. Uh, that was hilarious. <laughs> so we got one guy all the way back there. This main guy here. But remember, we cannot take him out. He's the guy you want to save for last. Sign of the sapphires. You die here. Okay, you'll watch out for this guy. Exactly because of that. Let's get a little bit better advantage here. quickly if you're in the middle of your attacks so this is an RPG guys it is not something where you can be in the middle of one attack and then all of a sudden stop when he's going through his animations and go to another attack you can't sometimes when you when you're when you're hitting your buttons you'll do like three arm swings or something like that and you can't get out of it now you could probably dodge but you can't like uh, try to go into a parry after you're already in the middle of an attack so, see how quickly it could just get you if you're not paying attention. That is brutal. But it also shows that we could have been a little bit better at stealth. So, we're probably going to go, yep. You can see the last points that it saves, so we have to go all the way back. I guess we have to also equip the quest. just goes to show you that you every single battle that you encounter with these enemies you literally have to just be fully aware of everything you're doing now if this is on normal we wouldn't have had any problems but i love playing this on hard i love making mistakes and then trying to learn from them now i have i've had to learn from a few of these but every single time i forget i'm playing on hard because i literally just played the same thing on normal So we just gotta be smarter, gotta be stealthier. This must be the cave Fortios mentioned. We can do it. Those priests came this way. Huh? Notice how this guy's in a different spot this time.
Vehicles burning through. I got myself. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, rely on this little kick. Oh my god, he went the opposite direction. I have screwed myself over more than anything. I have made mistake after mistake on this part. No one to blame but myself on this. Climb. Climb, you fool. Let's rethink this. Alright, I don't think they're coming all the way back. Okay, let's rethink this. Start back. Do this right. I tried to get... I tried to entice the guy to come so I can knock him off. Once you take out the captain, you're good to go. They saw me from that far away. Oh my god, he goes so slow when he's climbing sometimes. Don't get too complacent though. That did not go as smoothly as Sinistrain 01 would have liked it, but that's okay. Just goes to show you guys on this difficulty, anything can happen. Don't get, too, don't feel overprotected. one of the priests, but no sign of the sapphires. Agreement in full. Treasury sapphires to be sold at no discount. Meet at Desvina Fort for the sale. Well, I know where I'm headed next. Alright, we have done. We've completed this area. We're going to go ahead and get out because we have a long trek to do again. Again, yeah, that wasn't as smooth as I would have liked it, but we did accomplish the mission.
And we might be able to get into this without actually having to worry too much. All right, so what you need to do in these situations is look. You can see right there, if we go up there, we'll actually get a way across. Come on. So take a look at the beauty of the game. Now, on our way back, all we got to do is go to the fast travel point where the Temple of the Apollo is, and then that's it. This one's actually pretty easy. You can get in and out without really doing too much damage. I should be careful. High security here. Come on. Alright, this is a good point. We'll go ahead and get a layout of the land so you guys can see what's going on. I see them. You can see that there are a lot of people here. Just to get him out of the way. And he decided to do that instead. What I wanted to do, I messed... Oh man, I am messing up so bad in this episode. All I wanted to do was climb that right there, but instead he magnets himself over to, to there. It's alright though. of blood on them, but the sapphires still shine. This is exactly right here. That's what I wanted to do right there. But all we were doing was going to grab this and then we can head back. I hope you're ready to die. So, super simple, you can get in there even if you're not stealthy. If you know where you're going, you can get in there and... Sheesh! Alright, I think we're good enough. Out of combat. Fast travel. Nope. Not yet. Is actually good. Let's go ahead and grab this viewpoint here. Yeah, so this episode has been crazy. You know, I haven't been maybe as focused as I should have been, so you gotta keep your focus when you're playing, especially if you want to not die every five seconds.
nonetheless, we have accomplished our mission, and that is always our goal. Now, we literally should be able to go to our next location. Here we go. So in getting here, we will talk to the quest giver, our old friend. Then we will start heading for the... to, to do the, the mission that we actually came here to do, which is take out that SOB that wants us to kill our family. No idea what just happened there. Alexios, get over here, you spineless jellyfish, you. Good news. Found the sapphires. Should I ask why they're bloody? The priests couldn't cut it as thieves. <laughs> you said you'd do it for free. But we both know that was horseshit. <laughs> here, take this. Here, old man. <laughs> Here is a little trinket from the treasury. No one will miss it. Let's hope not, or you'll send another mercenary after me. <laughs> Goodbye, Fotios. <laughs> if you ever see that dog, Marcos, again, <laughs> tell him you demand minimum wage. All right. Let's go ahead and go check out our next quest. I know we have some upgrading and abilities that we can do. But right now we're going to interrogate the Oracle. Ella. This is another simple quest. Looks like we found another tomb right there. Cool. Always stumble across new things and new places to go to. Ella. The Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. Let's make sure we have everyone covered. Okay. Now we'll slow down a little bit. Let's do this right. 
Well beyond a lot of protection for the Pythia. See, we can't even take this guy out, even though he's a tin. That's because he is a... Um, he's one of the mercenaries, but he's not after us right now, so we don't have to worry too much about him. But we're going to take everybody out in this area. You can see how many heavier type of guys that we actually have to face off against here. So the first thing we need to do is actually get out of here. You want to take out the guys that don't have those things above their heads first. Just so happens that three of them are so close to each other that I'm not digging that. And we can't even take him out. Nice. Wow, we don't even have... Alright, let's see if we equip a better weapon. It could be our weapon. Why we don't have... Because it is a level 9 and we are a level 11. So there's an 8, there's a 10 on a spear, but there's a level 10 here, which gives us way, a little bit more. Not too much, but, but a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get some abilities up here while we have the opportunity as well. We're only a level 11 now, so... We can upgrade the Warrior Masters, which will give us more damage. Still can't take him completely out, though. So it looks like we're going to have to get into a fight either way you, you like it, unfortunately. Nope, it actually took him out. Did you see that? So whatever we did, well, I guess we leveled up enough to where we could actually take him out. We should have the same luck with this guy then. So much for using finesse. Yep, it's actually taking him out completely. I didn't think it would, but It's a risk. What was that? Nothing. I worry too much. Huh? What was that noise? You should come check it out, bud. Good boy. What? Uh. Alright, so now this just leaves us the big three guys. Oh, 
go, go, go! That was so close. Again, like I said, sometimes doing these missions can be very hazardous to your health. Especially since he's only at, oh, come on. He's only a level 10, but he can take us out pretty quickly. Alright, get the stealth back in. It's almost like you want to do as many side missions as possible. So your level is actually higher level than this level. It wouldn't even take him out. Did you see that? All right, so we just got that 11, but then we got this 10. The 11 is going to be a lot easier to take out than the 10 because the 10 is a mercenary. she can do is dream now. So who is in charge in this land? I'm gonna find out real quick. All right, it's it's them. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and steal all this here. There we go. And we're gonna grab those two things to weaken the resistance. Or to weaken the no! army. Guards! I'm not here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers. But none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family. And everywhere I go, People are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you. I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles. I want names. I don't know. I swear. They hide behind masks and shrouds. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? 
most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo there is an ancient chamber. I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the Hora of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. Any idea where I can find him? There is a fort just south of the Valley of the Nymph. He's been known to conduct business there. You've been helpful. May the light of Apollo guide you to your family. Tell Herodotus what the Pythia told me about the cult. Maybe he'll have some insight. All right, but first things first is... So what do we got to do with these things? You know what? I'm actually not sure. Alright, let me see what this is actually. It actually doesn't even say what it is. So I know it's something. I don't even know what to do in this case. Hmm. Not sure if it's something that we set fire to or... Let me try this. Anything? Nope. Let's try the straw. Nope. Alright, well, no idea what to do in that instance. So we'll go ahead and head over here. That's what I get for not paying attention whenever they uh, explained what those things are. tell you the cult of cosmos is hunting me but i'm going to hunt them first she told me they meet in a secret chamber under the temple of apollo so it's all true if the cult has done anything it's fool this old man i can't get in without a mask and cloak it's how the cultists identify each other the temple of apollo is by the cave of Yea. simple enough to find but a cultist's mask and cloak how will you accomplish that the Pythia gave me the only clue I need. When I'm ready, I'll meet you at the temple. For now, I'm going to kill Elpinor, Malakas liar. Alright guys, so you know exactly what we're going to be doing next. We're going to be taking out the guy that caused all of these problems, all of these troubles. And then maybe I'll actually find out exactly what we're supposed to do with these things right here. But not a big deal. Love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Hopefully you're enjoying the gameplay and I will definitely try to make sure that I improve next time. And we have a very, very story heavy related part next. 
So lots of story in the next video. So make sure you guys check that out. Love you all. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.